Well, I was uh, looking up online until I found out that the film, A House with a Clock in Its Walls, is actually not a part of a franchise, and that's because it was based off of a book from 1973, and it never got a release. I mean, like, it, it never got more sequels after that. So, um, but it, that's actually kind of interesting, because now a lot of, um, when people try to adapt the books, it's, like, usually a book that got, like, you know, like a, fr like a series of books they try to adapt to make more money to catch from Harry Potter. And, um, yeah, that's what it actually, yeah, that's what I thought it was actually trying to do. Until I found out that it's only based off of one book with no sequels to it. And so, um, so yeah, I, I saw the film yesterday and, um, it's pretty good. You can go, go check it out if it's a, um, it's a kid, it's a kid's film and, um, but if you are a fan of Harry Potter, I just want to say it's, it's not entirely like Harry Potter. It's, I mean, like, there's no school and, like, even though they'd say warlock than a wizard, but, um, it, it's totally not like Harry Potter. It's, what it really reminded me a lot was, um, a series of unfortunate events, which, um, it's actually really like that film because it has a lot, it takes place in a house, and, you know, there's, like, a lot of weird things in the, in that house, and, like, you know, and these, like, and, these, and there's gonna be, like, and there's events, so it, it's kind of like that, that, and it's more like Harry Potter. So, um, so what I did not like about it, uh, and I think if you all saw it, that you didn't really like the scene with, um, with a baby Jack Black in it, because, and yeah, that happens, and it's actually really disturbing, and it's not, you know, it's like, and it's really creepy, it's like a, it's like this, re it's like Jack Black on, like, a Photoshop with a real baby, it's so, so weird, weird, and then it's just too, and it's really too weird, it feels more like, like you're watching some of the mask than like a, a series of unfortunate events style film, and it, it's really it's, it, it's just really it's not creepy but it's just really like unnecessary and weird. I I don't know if it was in the book or not, but it, it's just really too creepy for me. And um, even um, what I thought they should have done was put more like a twist in it. There's not that much of a like, something like a twist that, like, that could have happened. You know, I wish they had a, more of a twist to it. And also, um, if they were gonna do a series of unfortunate events, what if they, like, Lewis did not see, like, we never got to see Lewis's parents, because we do, but, like, not the dad, like, it would have been interesting if, like, there would have been a big twist, but nothing, and, you know, I think it should have had more of a big twist, and also, the visuals are just not really that good. I mean, like, the house, I don't know about the house part. Like, the house is just, uh, like, the house, the house visuals are good. But, like, well, the visual, the visuals in, um, series of a bunch of unfortunate events is really good. And by this, I'm really talking about the 2004 movie, not the Netflix series. Because the visuals in that, in that film is, like, really good, given it that, it also had like this, like tone, like you didn't know where it was because with the styles of cars and like what people what people wear and like because it looked like from two different decades and it actually looked um and it was actually um really stunning, but um but I but sad that film didn't make as it's not as like it's not making that much um because I hear it didn't make that much money. And it didn't make, and it, and it didn't get a another sequel, but um, but uh, you know, if you do like, you know, one of those movies that are like, you know, based off of books, and um, and you know, and if you like, it basically, if you like, you know, Harry Potter, or if you really do like the series of unfortunate events on Netflix, you know, just check it out. My personally, I, I thought it was good, but um. You know, I just think it had a lot of, um, moments there and there, but, uh, and this wasn't, no one really kind of praised this film that much, I mean, like, I think it did make, like, kind of money, uh, I think it did do good at the box office, but I'm really looking forward to, like, you know, other movies, there's still other, like, we still got other movies, um, this, uh, this year still, uh, we still have, like, December, man, December sounds like a really, um, big, uh, 
month for uh, movies, and we have, like, a lot of other films, like, I'm still waiting for Venom to come out, if that's gonna be bad or not, but, um, yeah, I can't wait to see these films that are coming out, but, um, but just still, right now, just check it out for, um, uh, for the, for this film, for what it is, and, uh, thank you for watching this video, if you liked it, uh, subscribe, or leave a like, leave a comment, and, uh, make sh and I'll make more videos, thank you, bye.